a metà con te. Mi ha mai lacotta. E lo mi ha detto, sono un mio alleato. E io certamente credo nei colori sacri, tutti i sacri colori, including the sacred colors of the medicine wheel, the four directions, the four quarters of the universe, the four seasons, the four ages of the earth, the four ages of, of people, human beings, and the four winds. And that's personified by the colors black for the west, red for the north, yellow for the east, white for the south. There's an explanation of those colors, but suffice it to say at this point that black, red, yellow, and white represent the four races of the human being also, as well as the other four, as I told, told you about. And you mix those four colors together, and you get the color brown, the color of our grandmother the earth, and the other race of people. So we, the red people of the Western Hemisphere, have finally entered into the family of nations. The family of nations are finally into it, thanks to Evo Morales and the Indian people, the American Indian people of Bolivia, the many nations of that country, specifically the major two nations, Indian nations, brought about an in, a, a contemporary Indian government and now the Republic of Lakota. What I'm telling you about is I, I want you all to understand that rebuilding the nation is it's a beautiful experience. It's 24-7. I, uh, I embrace it. I love it. It always has it's ups and downs, but mostly it's like this, like the waves of the sea. It is the order of nature, and regret is useless. Cheap out. At any rate, <clears throat> what I want to talk about is our four strategies for the Republic of Lakota. And that is education, po politics, health, and economics. And as you know, we're going after wind power, all green energy, wind, solar, and geothermal. Uh, and that's, that's slowed down significantly. Um, but nevertheless, it's going. And we're, we're embracing individual home uh, wind energy rather than the big babies. The uh, second is uh, the medicinal or health. That slowed down because all the NDs and MDs that, that were scheduled to come uh, backed off for various reasons. And there's still some coming, but slower than we were first promised. The, uh, but that's nevertheless education, the, the, the school. It's, it just can't get funded. And what I'm trying to do is create businesses under the umbrella of the a nonprofit tax-exempt school banner to uh, make sure that we can we fund ourselves and we're self-sufficient. I'm tired of make, writing proposals to uh, foundations. Man, I'm telling you, the, the anti-Indian racism in this country is manifest. It is almost pure. Pure. And that's why we suffer the genocide. Now, the pol political, we're running candidates in tribal elections on different reservations only to document how many people want to be free. And then, as I stated earlier, we're going to document, uh, we're going to hire, when we raise the money, to um, hire a poll-taking company to come in and, and, and take those people who haven't voted or refuse to vote for, for cultural reasons and for poverty reasons. So. We're well on our way. My campaign has been kicked off for tribal president of the Oglala Sioux Tribe on the Pine Ridge Sioux Indian Reservation. That is where we're at. And we're going for freedom. Now I'm getting all kinds of, of, of 
advice, and it's good advice. It's real good advice from all sectors of our society, and even including from some from white people. So I want to thank those that that are offering their their advice, their direction. I know it's well meaning and it's well taken. But everything runs on money, and this is the only solicitation we're asking for. We're not asking for solicitations for the school. We're not asking for solicitations for anything other than the campaign. It's a political contribution, and we can accept money from anywhere in the world, because we're sovereign, anywhere in the world, and in any amount. And we're shooting for a minimum of $100,000. Our election is November 6th, the, gen the, uh, the runoff, October 4th, or October 7th, yeah, October 7th and November 4th, right, um, along with the uh, national election, but our, our primary is October 7th. So we've got a ways to go and raise some money, and hopefully more will be coming in.